No chance of flooding here. Maybe a stray storm or two, though. Yeah, the storms are really winding down now, which is really good news. We got hit pretty hard with some straight line winds earlier today. Most of that stayed in southeastern Nebraska, so none of it really crept up to the metro. You probably got a little bit of rainfall, a couple heavy downpours here in the metro, but it wasn't as much of a concern as it was in far southeastern Nebraska. So that main line of storms has now moved off to the east. Parts of northwestern Missouri and far southwestern Iowa near Shenandoah and moving eastward, but most of the heavier downpours are almost done with this. The heavier storm reports that we got were towards Beatrice, Lincoln, this area in far southeastern Nebraska. And then if you want to go outside our viewing area in southern central Nebraska, a lot of wind reports, one tornado report actually near Minden, Nebraska. Uh, but again, the bulk of the rain now is off into far southwestern Iowa in northwestern Missouri. So we're going to walk through Storm Predictor here, show you what's left of these storms and how they're evolving through the remainder of the evening. Right here down south of the metro, continuing to push eastward, and they'll continue that weakening trend as well. So maybe a couple of gusty winds of 30, 40 miles per hour, uh, but it's really just heavy to moderate rainfall at this point, and that's all it'll be uh, through the remainder of the evening. There's a light chance of a shower through around 2 a.m., but after that, everything exits off to the east and some cloudy skies uh, to end your day and then also to start it for tomorrow. Here's a look outside from our Crown Point Sky Cam. If you were out about an hour ago, there was a beautiful double rainbow. Uh, if you looked off to the east, obviously now it's dark and you can't see it anymore. 70 degrees. The dew points at 60, a south wind at 10 miles per hour. Our temperatures ranging from the 60s to the 70s. A lot of rain cooled air in here. So we had a high temperature uh, near the 80s today, and now we're back into the 60s yet again. And we don't look like we'll drop too much as we get to tomorrow morning, maybe 62 degrees for that morning low temperature with a light chance of a shower. Hour by hour forecast for tomorrow, it's going to be a mostly cloudy day. Temperature is getting up near 80 degrees, we won't get much higher than that because of the clouds. And then a chance of an isolated storm as we get later on into the evening. Uh, so it's not going to be a washout by any means. It's just some rain and maybe a couple storms towards the later hours of the day. Most of the day, it's just going to be cloudy with a straight chance of a shower and a high temperature near 80 degrees. So here's what that looks like with Storm Predictor. Again, clouds, some rain around the viewing area, but not in the viewing area. Maybe a straight shower around 1 o'clock, and then storms could be here around 5 o'clock, and then mostly in western Iowa, and then a few areas in uh, eastern Missouri by around the 8 o'clock hour before that leaves and it get exits off to the east. So here's your seven day forecast and really there's a lot of good news throughout this seven day forecast. Once we get through Sunday, which again, Sunday's not even a washout. You're probably gonna have more dry time than you will have with rain. But Monday through Saturday, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of dry time and a lot of sunshine.